caretaker Bangkok police chief Vinay Thong Song said, Police now believe not four but six suspects were involved in the three outrages but clumsy Valentine's Day explosions. Thai papers report that the suspects were planning to assassinate Israeli diplomats in Bangkok. Police think one Iranian suspect is in hiding in Thailand. A witness said that at 7 o'clock on the morning of the fateful day of explosions, a rather plump Iranian man, about 150 to 160 centimeters in height, walked out of the rented house with a large luggage. This man had been walking in and out of that house every day for a week. After the incident, witnesses said a man, fitting his description, was seen walking on Soi Tong Law or Sukhumvit 55. On the night of explosions, one of the men left Thailand. Police showed a picture of this man to the witness, but the witness said that though he looked similar, he was not exactly the man seen walking in and out of the rented house. Meanwhile, a Thai woman is being questioned by police. She maintains she was hired by the group of three Iranians in Pattaya to be their escort but she had no idea they were actually planning terror attacks. One of the three Iranians has his legs blown off in the Bosch attack while the two were nabbed, one at Suvarnabhum airport and the other in Malaysia. Police are getting the Thai woman to talk to Muhammad Hazai, 42, who was caught at Suvarnabhum to make him feel relaxed so he can talk to police. They, can, they said he had trouble eating appeared stressed and flatly refused to talk. Said Moradi, who lost his legs in one of the explosions, is in Chulalongkorn's hospital's intensive care unit. Doctors say his condition is stable. He is conscious, but being given liquid food. A Bangkok court has approved arrest warrants for the three suspects, as well as an Iranian woman named Laila Rohani who rented the destroyed house. However, Rohani seems to have fled Thailand and is now in Tehran. The suspects are facing criminal charges, which include the possession of explosives, attempted murder, attempted murder of a policeman, and causing explosions that damage property. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations rightly called on the Security Council to condemn the attacks quickly and urge Iran to extradite one of the four suspects for prosecution in Thailand. Meanwhile, Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, which is backed by Iran and is on the U.S. terrorism list, claims his group had nothing to do with the Thailand plot, the bombing in India of an Israeli diplomat's car or the attempted bombing in Georgia. There had been speculation that the attacks could be in revenge for the death of Imad Mukniye, a top Hezbollah military commander who was killed by a bomb that ripped through his car in the Syrian capital of Damascus. Hezbollah and its prime patron Iran have both blamed Israel for the military commander's killing. Israel has denied any involvement. Thailand's acknowledgement that terror attacks were being planned on its soil stood in contrast to its denials last month when police arrested a Lebanese man with alleged links to terrorist organization Hezbollah. At the time, authorities insisted Thailand was only being used as a staging ground for attacks but was not the target.